Welcome back. We got some pretty big news to discuss, and let's start off with Major League Baseball implementing new rules for the 2020 season, the upcoming season. Those rules are there's going to be a three batter minimum. So if you bring in any starter or any reliever to pitch to a minimum of three batters, that's what's going to happen. Including the batter, then at bat, or any substitute batter until such batters are put out or reach base, or until the offensive team is put out. Unless the pitcher sustains an injury or illness in which the umpire, the crew chief, uh, decides whether he can pitch or not. Uh, this It'll become effective March 12th uh, of the spring training. So, this is probably the three better minimum rule. It sucks. Let me just be frank. It sucks. Why would you put in a minimum of... Why would you put in a rule where it states how many batters a pitcher has to throw to? Is it because what Manfred gets off on, it seems like, is pace of play? Is it because of that? Because I don't think that's the problem. Why? Because um, more mound visits and taking pitchers out, I don't think, prolongs the game that much uh, as some other things in the game could. That's just what I'm thinking. Uh, I think it's a bad, I just think it's a bad rule. And I could easily see it being amended out in, I don't know, a couple of years, probably five years, depending on how it goes. Just from what I've seen, nobody likes the rule. Because then you pretty much eliminate the loogie. The lefty, worn-out guy. And you pretty much eliminate the specialists. You come in, bases loaded, bottom of the ninth, two outs. You got, I don't know, uh... I don't know, you got some lefty up to bat, some big lefty. I don't know, first one I think is David Ortiz, for example. And you have, I don't know, lefty, like, uh... I'm trying to think of somebody now... You got a, a lefty guy made for this scenario. And you got to bring him in to get that final out in the game. You, This rule pretty pretty much eliminates the specialist, the one-out guy. Which I think is bad for baseball. Uh, and I don't think anybody likes it. They, um, By the looks of it, they're also increasing the active roster limit from opening day to August 31st, and including postseason games, uh, will be increased from 25 to 26. In addition, clubs will be permitted to carry a maximum of 13 pitches pitchers from opening day through August 31st, plus postseason games. Now, I don't, I don't mind it. I don't mind having the roster increased by one. I don't mind it. I don't think it changes the sport drastically, like the previous th- rule does. Uh, I think it just gives a guy, an, it gives another guy a chance to play. Uh, it has more depth rules. Has more. Uh, it can create more depth on the team, and I don't think it changes the rule that bad. And it's only one person. It's not like it's twelve or five. So I don't mind it. Uh, another one is from September first. All these are under active roster limits. Uh, from September 1st to the end of the championship season, including t- any tiebreaker games, all clubs must carry 28 players on the active roster. In addition, clubs will be permitted to carry a maximum of 14 players, pitcher, 14 pitchers during this period. So by the looks of it, for the September call-ups, it goes from 26 to 28, and you get another pitcher. Like I said, it's no big deal. I don't always see, see it as a big deal. Um... There are position players pitching is uh, pitching is another one. Uh, it states any pitcher may appear as a pitcher, any player may appear as a pitcher following the ninth inning of an extra inning game or in any game in which his team is losing or winning by more than six runs when the player enters as a pitcher. I don't, I don't really mind it. You don't really see that many position players 
pitching in major league games anyway. So I don't really mind it. It's just a clarification, uh, pretty much. Um, uh, what else is there? There's an extra player rule. The previous 26th player rule will be replaced with the 27th player rule for all applicable championship season games prior to September 1st. Uh, the 27th player shall not count toward any pitcher roster limits described above. Thus, a club may designate 14 pitchers in games under circumstances where the major league rules would permit a 27th active player. Like I said, it I don't really mind it. It just gives more... Uh, it's pretty much like the uh, September call-ups. They're just flushing that out a little bit. Um, which I don't mind. Uh, and then the final rule is the reduction in challenge time. Managers will now have up to 20 seconds to challenge a play instead of 30. I think this... I don't mind this one. Really, I don't... Uh, now, it, this one I like uh, because... It, it uh, closes down on the gap, and with like a close play at first, you have it's a bang bang play, and then you'll have to sit there and wait 30 seconds, usually at the max, to sit there and say, Are we going to challenge or are we not? And by that time, you already see replays from it from the networks, and then you know whether you should challenge it or not. So, I don't mind uh, the commissioner's office managing that down to 20 seconds, I don't really mind that one at all. But uh, that's all the rule changes for this upcoming year. But we do have some other news. And that is Ron Renicki is named the interim manager for the Red Sox. He's the interim manager of the Red Sox because Alex Cor uh, the Red Sox and Alex Cora departed ways because of Cora being named in the commission's report on the Astros cheating scandal of 17, 2017. Uh, Renicki, I don't really mind him being the new manager for the Red Sox. I mean, he's already he was already a part of the team, I believe. So, them putting him in there, keep the guy in house, so that nobody has uh, they don't have to learn the whole team again. Yeah, he was the bench coach. So yeah, keep keep it in house. The guy knows Renicky knows all the players, knows what they uh, how they're capable of doing and everything. So, I don't mind that move to put Renicky as the interim manager. And final news for the day is the Detroit Tigers added veteran journeyman Cameron Maben to a one-year, one-and-a-half million dollar contract. He was originally drafted by the Detroit Tigers. They traded him to the Marlins to get Miguel Cabrera, who's still on the team. Uh, he went back to Detroit in, I believe, 2016. And now, I think he's going to end his career as a Tiger. Because, I mean, he's been in the league, what, I think 20 years up at this point? I think... I don't know about 20 years. He's old. He's, um, Cameron Maven's been in the league a long time. Long time. And I think he's going to play right field, which that's no big deal. Um, I think that's good for him. He got drafted in 2005. He debuted in 07, so 15, 13 years. And he's... 32. Yeah, he could still play a little longer. I don't see me. I, I like the deal that the Tigers got for Maven. It gives... Um, Cameron Maven had a bounce back year with the Yankees last year. When their whole team got hit with the Black Plague or the Black Death. I combined the two. When their team got hit with the Black Death. So he had a comeback year last year. Maybe he can improve on it for this year for the Tigers team. Um, Tigers aren't going anywhere in that division though. So... I hope he has a fun time in Detroit. But that's the end of the video. If you guys liked it, press the like button. Subscribe down below. That would be very appreciated. Share this video with all your friends and buddies. And I will see you guys in the next video.